so I literally have like 20 minutes before <clears throat> so I literally only have like 20 minutes before class but I wanted to do this real quick there's a lady next to me looking at me but whatever um so I bought some really cheap Chinese food that I'm gonna eat and then I also want to talk about a poem that I read last night um I've taken it upon myself to be smart oh my god that looks so good oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I've taken upon myself to be smart and to try to read like a poem or a book every week or two weeks or so and kind of interpret it and yeah. Oh yeah, this is really freaking good. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, I'm probably interpreting it wrong, but whatever. I read Tamerlan last night by Edgar Allan Poe. And so what I got from it, actually the first time I read it last night, I was like, oh, it's about how his, um, his parents' love affected how he loves now. But I learned that that's like only a part of it. Yeah. So that's only like the first part of it. I reread it just before then, before now, and I realized that um, it not only talks about how it talks about more of his like father's love and how he inherited his um love for women and how he loves oh my god there's a <laughs> and how he loves um from his father but then it it begins to say how that applies to his first love basically so um it, it shows that like as as a young boy he always thought you know, from his parents, he, he was taught that love is such a great thing and everything. And when he hit puberty, of course, he wanted to, he was, like, becoming a man. He wanted to, like, find his love. And he started adventuring in that area. And um, he found out that love's really brutal. And that everybody's trying to find it, and he's competing with everybody for, like, attention and love and everything. And it's really difficult. Totally not what he thought it would be. So, then it goes on to say that he falls, he falls in love, and he realizes that it is right not the search for love the search for love is brutal but when you find it it's very rewarding but at the same time it restricts you a lot and how it talks about how love like kind of holds you back you have more ambition by yourself and then it goes on to say like I am the king and like all of this like he is the king of the world but also he might want to share his throne with the queen it's really really interesting because I never thought about it like that but it's kind of true like when you're by yourself you have a lot more ambition because you only think about yourself you know but when you're with someone else it's obviously amazing but at the same time you don't you don't have as much ambition or power. Oh, that was really hot. It was really interesting. I found it really, really interesting. Uh, my class starts in 10 minutes. <laughs> really, really hungry. I literally just got this. Like, on the way here. And then I have a 
job orientation after this, so that's fun. Um, I'm so excited to have a job. I know they weren't hogging at me, I'm parked. But yeah, I have had a really busy two weeks. This week is really busy too. I talked to a college coach, which is really exciting. Yeah, class starts in 10 minutes, but whatever. I'm really hungry. And I would feel horrible bringing this in. Because it's so good. No, because people know how awful I eat. And also, um, Chinese food, like, has a really strong smell. Not a bad smell, but, like, you know. I also, tomorrow, I have to get my whole radio replaced. Because, like, I just bought this radio. Now I have to get it all replaced. Uh. Because the aux cord, like, the compartment for it, like, the little plug-in is loose. I'm like, can't you just replace that? No. You have to get a whole new radio. But since I just got it a month ago, I don't have to pay for anything, which I'm very grateful about. But it's just, I have to find the time to do it. This is really good. <laughs> If you haven't noticed. Um, so yeah, I really, really like the poem. Again, I'm trying to... I thought I just heard something. I'm trying to read more poems and get more into reading just because I think I need to. Mm. Why is it so hot? What the... No, like spicy hot, but temperature hot. I mean, it is like a little bit spicy, but not enough to make me like, because, because you haven't noticed, I'm Hispanic. I actually am Hispanic, but you really can't tell. Like, you really, really can't tell. And I don't speak Spanish. So, like, I wish I did. Just my family never really taught me. Um, I wish they had. And I could talk to my relatives. <laughs> Instead of trying to interpret what they're saying. I knew a lot more when I was younger. Just because my papa. Uh, my grandfather. I call him my... I call him my papa. No, that's like father, but... Whatever. So, uh, my papa, he used to take care of me a lot. And he is really Hispanic. He came from Mexico to here. He was the first to immigrate here. So... Yeah, so he's really Hispanic, and um, he taught me Spanish when I was younger, but he moved to Colorado when I was like five, so I haven't really spoken Spanish in like a lot of years. I was trying to do the math a lot of years, but whenever I go there, he still thinks I can speak Spanish, so he talks to me in Spanish, and I'm like, dude. This is really kind of making my stomach hurt. Which, I don't normally buy food out because your girl is broke. But, I don't know, I decided to treat myself because I was kind of craving it. So, yeah. My next poem that I'm reading tonight is going to be... It's going to be... Song. Bad girl and poem. I may write. I. Blah, 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 blah. I may read song and dreams. At the same time. Ooh, and I may actually read spirits of the dead also because they're, they're pretty short. Um, but if I feel like <coughs> I'm not interpreting them well, I'll like only read one or two. Oh fuck! Five minutes. I mean fudge. Five minutes to class. Um, so I think I'm gonna boogie. Let's read my fortune cookie. Always wanna eat it 
when you're reading it, so that will come true. Attitude is more important than facts. <laughs>